um hi guys hi my people uh this is l and the trader speaking uh guys on this video i want to show you the basics or introduction to metatrader 5 which works almost the same with metatrader 4. so let's go to my mt5 okay i mean profit i can see i was trading vic 75 i can say i'm in profit I even gave a signal to my students. As you can see, I have 2,473 students. I told them to buy and we always milk as usually. But okay, that's not the case. Guys, uh, let me close this trade so we can begin with what I want to show you. Some of you now are wondering that what is he doing? What is he doing? I'm closing the trades, guys. I'm going to show you all these things. I'm going to show you how to open a trade. And also to show you how to close a trade and how to set a stop loss, how to set a take profit, how to set a pending order. If it, the time will be enough. Okay, fine. Guys, here this is what you do. When you click to MetaTrader 5, you see now I logged in. We have codes, we have chat, we have trades, we have history, we have settings. So the most important thing that I want to show you is codes, chat and trade. Okay, I want to show you codes, chart, and trade. These are the most important thing that I want to show you. Why do I want to show you these three? Is because these are the only things that we use each and every single time before taking a trade. You will go to codes when you go to MetaTrader 5. If you go to codes, you're gonna go to chart. After chart, you're gonna go to trade. That's how we do this MetaTrader 5. But now, allow me to start with you. Remember, on my previous videos, there's a how to open a derived account. So now you've opened the account. Now you've successfully logged your account inside your, uh, your MetaTrader 5. What do you do? You come to codes. Remember, we trade Boom 500. We trade Volatility 75 Index. We, we trade Crash. We uh, Crash 500 and Crash 1000. As you can see in my codes, we don't have Crash 500. How do we add Crash 500? This is simple. You see at the top, it's written enter symbol for search. You touch there and then they come, suggested symbol, they come and then you can say crash 500. Now you can see it's added. It's there at the top. I mean at the bottom. That's where we're having our crash 500. And then now what do we do? Let's say provided your mentor is giving you a signal and say buy crash 500 or sell crash 500. What do you do? You go, you touch it. After touching it, you don't go to trade. You go to chat. Now you are at chat. The reason why you don't go to trade, you go to chat, is because if you go to trade, you won't know which time frame you are using. So in order for you to know what time frame you are using, you're supposed to go to chat so you can verify whether indeed this should be a buy or this should be a sell. Whether indeed you are using a particular time frame which your mentor used to analyze a signal with because you have to be in the same time frame when your mentor gives a signal so as for me l and the trader my signals we execute them in 50 minutes time frame all the time if the time frame is going to change i tell you guys that no now let's use five or 30 or an hour so for those who are using iphones you can see at the top there's m15 you touch it you choose the time frame that you want today and my mind is always on 15. those who are not using iphones you are using android you touch in the middle of your screen when you touch in the middle of your screen a circle will come and then you'll choose the time frame from the circle that will come um and then provided let's say we have to a signal came they say sell boom 500 you're gonna open a meta trader you're gonna go to codes you're gonna go to boom 500 you're gonna click chat you check it okay it's good for sell so as an iphone we have an advantage here because we have the button of sell and a buy at the top so if you're using an android after checking your chat you're gonna go back to your codes you click boom 500 you go to trades and then you that's where you will see numbers that you don't understand as a beginner which i'm gonna explain right now we have a point return stop loss, take profit, fill policy, fill or kill. Fill policy, don't pay attention on. 
stop loss lot size and uh, take profit these are the only three things that we need to know what is a lot size a lot size is a uh, a number that you insert on your own yet there is a minimum number per trade the bigger the lot size the bigger the profit and or the bigger the loss when your lot size is big you can make a lot of money or lose a lot of money so it's more advisable that whenever you are trading leave enough space for the free margin leave enough space for drawdown drawdown is when you take a buy and before it goes up it goes down or when you take a sell before it goes down it goes up we call that a drawdown so it's more important than you play around your lot size. The best thing that makes someone to understand lot sizes, it's a demo. Because you will know that if I take one lot in a demo, this is how much I'm making or I'm losing. I take 0 0.5 in a demo, I'm making this much, I'm losing this much. So it's very much wise for you guys to practice your lot sizes on a demo. So here, allow me to take a lot size of 1. We are buying, we are selling boom 500. I click sell. And then automatically it takes me to trades. Remember, I was on code. I went to uh, trade. After taking my trade, it takes me automatically to trade. So as you can see, let me just take another trade. As you can see, I want to show you something, guys. Sell again. As you can see, the moment I place a trade, it becomes red. That means each and every time you place a trade with your lot size, it starts in a loss. Red means a loss, and then a blue means profit. So basically, each and every time I take a trade, I start in a loss. As much as I start in a loss, what happens? It means that I'm going to have to wait for the blue to come if I'm analyzing my trades very, very, very correct. So I'm going to add more trades. The reason why I'm showing you that I'm going to add more trades Oh, okay. I want to show you, my people, that it's possible to add many trades as possible. Now my trades are added and they are more. As you can see, my free margin, it's red. This is risky. Red means danger. The reason why my free margin is red is because I took uh, three trades using bigger lot size. So if now I can close this trade that I took, as closed, you see my free margin and everything is now back to normal. But if I can change the lot size, if I can change the lot size, you see what's going to happen. I took many more trades. They allowed. I'm going to close one trade right now. I'm going to close another one. Another one. My free margin is still negative. I'm going to close another one. My free margin is still red. That means it's on risk. I'm going to close the last one. Now my free margin is safe. These are some of the things that you're supposed to pay attention on. Free margin and equity. Make sure that you always put them in black. So that you don't blow your account if the market does not go on your direction. So, how do you close a trade? Remember, now I was showing you how to open a trade, which is you go to quotes. You click any pair that you want to trade, and then you go to trade, you say buy or sell. Now, how do we close a trade? In any device, you swap from the left to the right. I mean, from the right to the left. You hold, and then you hold and swipe like this. From the right to the left. So if you hold long, automatically it will take you here. Look at this. I'm holding non-stop. I'm holding to the other side, to the other end of my, my device. I'm holding to the other end of my device. It's taking me non-stop. So if you don't want, if you want to hold small, not hold man, you swap from the right to the left a little bit, these, are, these options are going to come. The first yellow option is for closing your trades. As you can see, it's written close or sell. The second option, which is blue, this is where you can modify your trade by putting a stop loss or take profit. The last uh, one with three dotted, when you tap it, it says close position, modify position, chart, uh, and trade. So if you want to go to chart, it will take you to the specific chart where you've taken the entry. If you want to go to trade, 
it will take you back where we were initially before we take this trade i hope you guys understand this you can drop your comment below and see if there's something that i'm missing out for you to understand but just yeah yeah lot size for example this one is very strong with my account i can use this one and then i say buy after buying i go there you see i'm losing and then i click another buy another buy and another buy and then you see i'm having profit, and then i'm adding more buys but check my free margin it's right why is it right i added more buys using a bigger lot size therefore I'm not supposed to be having a free margin like this. It's risky. Let me close the sum of the trades so that my free margin can be blue, can be can be black. As you can see now, it's black. That means my account is not on risk. As you can see, I just took these trades. I'm in a profit already. Some of you don't understand how I make this, but it happens, guys. I'm LN the trader. You should expect such. Before I go out, I want to show you those trades. I want to show you guys that they are going to be in a profit. I'm gonna close them in a profit. That's one thing that I want to show you guys that I'm going to close these trades in a profit. I'm not going to close them in a loss. So now I'm only waiting for my trades to come to profit. So I close them that you see that this guy, he was not lying. He was telling the truth. That's what I'm waiting for right now. You see already they're in profit. But I want a larger profit. At least for me to make this video, I should exit with at least 1,000 rand. At least I should exit with 1,000 rand. I should be paid for making this video. That's why I took these trades so it's like that guys it's like that at least i should be paid so how much is 1000 rand 1000 divided by 16.5 which is 60 dollar guys which is 60 dollar guys i want to make 60 dollar which is 1000 and exit and exit this trade you a little bit to my communication group you to my communication group as you can see guys as you can see guys 
we have a group where we communicate. Look at this. We have a group where we communicate, guys. Look at entry. See this one is having a stop loss and a big profit. Look, guys. This is how it works in an in the trader forex trading institution. This is how it works, guys. This one is playing with me. But I'm going to hold.